Greetings and praise the Lord. Welcome to our daily devotion. We have been uh, working on the 2023 catalyst of spiritual change. I believe as you have started the year, great things have already started taking place as you continue to have encounters and encounters with the Lord. And now let's have a look at the fourth episode, which is on who is the captain of your destiny. You're talking about destiny. We're talking about fate, future, or the purpose. What's the purpose of whatever you're doing? How are you going to end it? What is the goal? What is the objective or the reason as to why you are doing what you're doing and how are you going to achieve it? And what are you achieving, by the way, in whatever you are doing? Are you building a name for yourself or are you lifting up the name of Jesus or are you lifting others so that they can know the Lord? In Genesis chapter 4, verses 11 to, uh, that is, uh, verses, sorry, in Genesis chapter 11, verses 4 to 8, I'm reading from the Amplified Bible, the Bible says, they came, okay, they said, Come, let us build a city for ourselves and a tower whose top will reach into the heavens and let us make a famous name for ourselves so that we will not be scattered into separate groups and be dispersed over the surface of the entire earth as the Lord instructed. Now, the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the son of men had, the sons of men had built. And the Lord said, "Behold, they are one unified people, and they all have the same language. This is only the beginning of what they would do in rebellion against me. And now, no evil thing they imagine they can do will be impossible for them. Come, let us, Father." Son, Holy Spirit, go down and there, confuse and mix up their language so that they will not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the surface of the entire earth and they stopped building the city. Now, well, you know, from the beginning, that is um, from the... Um, the beginning of the, that is in Genesis chapter 3 verse 5, we see Satan, the old, uh, the Satan has always tried to, uh, to use this ent- ent- enticement. You will be like God. Well, the first declaration was actually, uh, that is the declaration of humanism rec- is recorded in, in, the, the, in the Tower of Babel. That is in Genesis chapter, the chapter we've just read, that is uh, from verse 4 to 8. That is, let, come let us build a city for ourselves and a tower whose top will reach into the heavens. And let us make a famous name for ourselves. A famous name for ourselves. So, remember, God God in the beginning, that is in Genesis chapter 9, verse 1, he commanded man, that is after the flood, to be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. Now, Nimrod at Babel invest, uh, decided to be rebellious against that command. So, he decided that he, is going to, um, he wants to maintain that unity and make a name for themselves. That is man, not God. So that the man will be supreme. So they don't want God to be supreme. They don't got, want God to be the captain. They don't want God to be the leader. And that is what is happening to many people. They want to be the captains of everything. They want to be the ones leading in everything. They want to show off in anything. It's showcases all over. What are you trying to do? Or what are you making out of every move that you are making, every step you're making? What are you trying to do? Men and women, they do not want to acknowledge that there is a God in heaven who has a direct role in their affairs. So we see that uh, King Nebuchadnezzar also, which we saw yesterday, um, who became caught up in his own importance. He had built Babylon by his own power for his own glory, not to glorify anybody else or glorify God. But he was doing it for himself, for his own glory. Yet when, yet when brought face to face with his own 
uh, impotence before God. He honored God as God. As we can see in uh, Daniel chapter 4, verses 34 4 to 35. For his dominion is an everlasting dominion, and all the inhabitants of the earth are accounted as nothing, but he does accord to his will in the host of heaven and among the inhabitants of earth. And no one can can word of his hand or say to him, what hast thou done? Maybe I should read it in another version so that you are able to understand from the Amplified, that is Daniel chapter 4, verse 34 to 35, from the Amplified Bible. But at the end of the days, that is at the seven periods of time, I, Nebuchadnezzar, raised up my eyes towards heaven and my understanding and reason returned to me and I blessed the Most High God. And I praised and honored and glorified him for who lives forever for his dominion is an everlasting dominion and his kingdom endures from generation to generation all the inhabitants of the earth are regarded as nothing but he does according to his will in the host of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth and no one can hold back his hand or say to him what have you done so the question is who is the center of your universe? Or who rules your affairs? That's the question we are asking today. Why are you doing what you're doing? With the move you're making or whatever step you are doing, you are making, what are you trying to do? Are you glorifying God in everything that you are doing? Do you envision yourself the captain of your own destiny? Because you can be trying to do all these things so that people know it is through your hard work, it is through you you being clever or probably being the best. That is why you're trying to do everything that you're doing the way you are doing them. Do you imagine yourself in the hands of this, uh, of the power or your own power? Have you bowed your knee to the sovereign ruler of the universe and said, My Lord and my God, I recognize that I exist because of your will and that I was created for your pleasure. I humble myself before you, my Lord, my Savior, my King. Can you all pray that prayer and tell the Lord, I desire that you become the ruler of my affairs become the captain of my destiny because you cannot lead yourself and at the same time if you're doing all those things so that you can become famous you can become great you can make a name for yourself you are not going anywhere you where you'll be heading to let me tell you like Nebuchadnezzar you read about Nebuchadnezzar and you will see exactly what we mean in Daniel chapter 4 read and see what happened to Nebuchadnezzar we see also it's not only Nebuchadnezzar and Nimrod who wanted to make a name for their, themselves in 2nd Samuel chapter 8 verse 13 also from the Amplified so David made a name for himself when he returned from killing 18,000 Arameans that is Syrians in the valley of salt so David also also you know I'm telling you anybody anybody can turn out to be something else anyone can become let me tell you we are all vulnerable human beings anyone can end up being anything if we are not walking and allowing god to be exalted in everything we are doing if we don't tremble in everything that we do if we just want to make a name for ourselves for our ministry for our churches for everything we are doing for i i i let me tell you, you can end up like Nebuchadnezzar and you don't want to end up that way. You don't want to be taught lessons in ways that you don't want. Lessons that are hard and difficult. You cannot ask God questions because when he gets into disciplining us to make sure that we are put into shape and into line, it is not going to be easy and it's going to be not be sweet. Psalms 92 verse 9, also from the Amplified, for behold your enemies O lord for behold your enemies will perish 
all who do evil will be scattered don't be an enemy of god by being the one who is trying to rule your own affairs and who is trying also to um you you also you becoming the captain of your destiny of your fate luke 1 51 also from the amplified he has done mighty deeds with his powerful arm he has scattered those who are proud in the thoughts of their heart if you're proud in the thought of your heart let me tell you the lord is scattering the proud don't be among those ones who will be scattered because they are scattered to go where they are scattered to go so that they can be disciplined and the discipline is not easy it's not sweet may the lord help us to pray and tell him your lord and my god i recognize that i exist because of your will and that i was created for your pleasure i humble myself before you my lord my savior and my king let the lord become the captain of your destiny this is bishop dr grace karuki of amazing grace international ministries and abundant glory international ministries mother to the amazing champions and mother to the cmc's that is the church minister's children around the globe you can visit our website at www.agracem.org and please partner with this ministry and see what god is going to do as you continue to walk this journey and do great things in the kingdom of god as you continue to part to partner and serve the lord together also visit um that is follow us on facebook and youtube at bishop dr grace karuki and also even at karuki bishop dr grace like subscribe and share let's hear what god is doing in your life as you allow him to become the captain of your destiny for now shalom shalom